Howdy folks, I'm here. I'm gonna give you a review of a 2021 7x14 V-Nose Victory Trailer made by Interstate Trailer. Sold by Trailers Plus out of Shreveport, Louisiana. So I'm gonna try and tell you just what I noticed and, and some things. Um, some things are good, some things are kind of shitty. So just kind of walking around. Um, this trailer, mind you, I've had for a month and a week now, I think. It's rained three or four times. Um, it has maybe 250 miles on it. So to include the uh, 120 or so that I had to go get it because there isn't a trailer plus around here in Tyler, Texas. Anyway, so on the outside, you'll see this uh, streak. I don't know what that's from. Okay, probably something bad. Um, see these little white lines? Clearly the caulk they used was shitty caulk and not silicon. Um, we see that whoever put it together, they made a dent there. And... You see that there? I, I, I don't know why that is. Okay. Um, something I had to fix when I got home. You'll see two holes there. Or one. There was no screw in here. And it looks like they started and I don't know if they want to smoke a cigarette or go on Twitter, Instafuck, whatever. And they didn't finish it. And uh, they just said to hell with it. And this whole thing was, was, was fucking loose. Okay, so we're on the bottom side now, and they did a attempt at waterproofing the electrical connectors. You see the little white thing there? You shouldn't see that. They just kind of wrapped it around and, eh, good enough. That's going to have to be redone, otherwise that's going to cause problems because that's the battery box. And you'll see that the connector to the e-stop, which is pretty important to have a good electrical connections, it's also kind of, also kind of shitty. They did spray an undercoating on it, so they said they did. They must have used a Harbor Freight paint in a really, really light coat because this is a 2021. And look at that. Come on. Really? I don't know how old this thing is when it was actually manufactured, but I mean, look at that. Okay. You see under here the undercoating? I mean, there's an undercoating, but really uh so it does have three quarter inch plywood that's true um when they say it's built like the tank i don't know what that means maybe it's um a uh, chinese tank that just kind of falls apart and powered by kimchi because this is this is um uh 16 gauge steel going through here and you see there's no lateral support so i'm not 100 percent inclined to uh park heavy loads in the, in the middle. I'm, I'm actually a bit nervous about parking the bike on there. But, you know, it should be decent. You know, hopefully so. The trailer's rated for 7,000 pounds. Total weight, 5,000, well, 4,800 carrying. Okay. So, now, when I got the trailer, there were some accessories installed, right? So just mind you, when you have Trailers Plus, or whoever install stuff they're gonna charge you um, by the item that you install so if you get four separate items they're gonna charge you four different install fees even if it takes them one hour which that took them about an hour actually a little less than that to install four different items they charged me two hundred and twenty dollars okay let's go around so again 250 miles at most in the trailer. I rode an ATV, two ATVs up and down it twice. You know, once to put it on, once to take them off. Uh, this door is rated for 2,500 pounds. I rode the motorcycle up there today to uh, do some installs and to check on some things. And um, the boat bike weighs 800 pounds. Now, like I said, door's rated for 2,500 pounds moving load. Obviously, you're not going to go in there at 30 miles an hour. That's just, you know, you're just fucking stupid if you do that but look at this 
you see the door moving okay I'll take you inside I mean I don't know what this is I mean those are latched I mean you just need a lock there but you see that gap okay inside here no yours does not come with a black floor it comes with a wood floor like that I put rhino liner down um, so here's the back tailgate door and that's just after 200 miles of driving now I know how to drive okay I know to take a slow over bumps and do all this you know I'm not gonna say I'm a cautious driver but I pay attention to what I'm fucking doing I'm not a millennial that texts and drives and does all this and does all that um, I don't like my stuff damaged I have a proclivity for self-preservation so I make sure that I do things that make sure my stuff lasts I don't abuse things but this right here if you're driving along and it's raining um, it's gonna get wet towards the back so like I said it's rained two or three times not sure where that came from or that uh, the roof here this is a flat top roof uh, aluminum single piece which is nice I figured it actually had some sort of a uh, little bit bend to it, but I noticed on the way back home and driving around, just kind of looking in the rearview mirror and stuff, uh, I heard noises slightly. They weren't too bad, but I saw just ever so slightly, the roof was undulating. It was just kind of flapping, sort of, just, you know, very light, but enough to cause concern, so I had to put these up here. Uh, and you'll see, let's see, there it is. Yeah, just to prevent that from uh, undulating there. Let's see. Oh, so you see there's one, two, three, four, five. Where's number six? So I had to tear that out because in securing the two ATVs, which, like I said, I am no stranger to pulling ATVs and trailers. I got a little itty bitty 5x8 trailer that's probably got 20,000 miles or more on it, yanking ATVs and shit all over the country. Um, let me see, 38 states, you ain't get an ATV, so I know how to tie shit down and it doesn't fly off. Well, this thing, these are not welded together. So those are $4, $5 there, and this is not welded in here. So if you're going to use these, I probably wouldn't put more than 25 pounds and don't pull it off to the side. Okay, there's the E-Trax, which is pretty nice. They did a good job installing it, but again, they charge $55 to install this one. And another $55 to install that. And you see there was, like I said, six of those. They charged another $55 to install those fucking things. I'm glad I didn't have them install a uh, motorcycle, uh, whatever that damn thing is that you park it in. Which, oh, by the way, they didn't have all the pieces. Um, I'm glad they didn't install that because I probably would have had to re redo that myself. Yeah, let's see. Anyway, other than that. Not bad, it pulls nice, it does have e-brakes, um, which are pretty dope. I used the uh, factory four flat and found that my 1999 E350 does have a, uh, was wired at the factory for a seven way wire, or seven way uh, trailer plug. So I just you know got the uh, thing from e-trailer, the brake controller to Kasha, to con whatever the hell it is, P3 thing. Works amazing by the way, I like it. Um, that was actually pretty dope at work. The uh, brakes are pretty decent. We'll see if they're actually any good on this thing, uh, all things considered. But anyway, that uh, kind of wraps it up. Like I said, it tows really nice, empty. You know, it was, uh, I didn't have the, uh, e the uh, trailer brakes installed yet or the uh, seven way installed yet. I did that uh, a few days ago. It towed real nice, even uh, with 2,150 pounds of uh, empty weight. Um, just what it is, you see, I got my fishing rod holders and stuff. Uh, but, you know, there are some things that could be improved on, I think. But, uh, not bad. Anyways, thanks for watching.